Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will make a very interesting IoT based home automation which also can be controlled with Google Home, Amazon Alexa and the best part, you don't have to write any code for this project, the Syndic Pro will generate the code automatically for you and of course, I have used their free plan. And as you can see, you don't need any PCB to make this project. During the video, I have explained all the steps. So after watching the complete video, anyone can make this project. But before going to the details, let me give you a quick demo. Turn on room light. Sure, turning on the room light. Now let me try to control it with Amazon Alexa. Turn on outdoor light. Okay. And we can also control it from the Amazon Alexa app. Let me turn on the studio light. Now let me go to Google Home app. And from here you can also control the lights. Let me turn off all the lights one by one. And if there is no internet, still you can control the lights manually with this switch as you can see. And here you can see you don't need any PCB for this project. But to make the circuit compact, you can design this type of PCB for your upcoming project using the Altium PCB designer software. This video is sponsored by Altium which is a world class PCB designer software trusted by the most of the big electronic companies. The user interface is so simple you can easily design any complex PCBs in Altium. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can not only design PCBs but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all these, they do have a very useful search engine just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any electronic components, compare the price and availability around the globe. Apart from that, you can also check the datasheet. Altium provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. And now you can download the free trial version of the Altium PCB designer software from the description and use all these services in your next PCB design. To make this project, you just need a ESP32 or ESP8266 as per your choice and a relay module. Then connect the relay module with the microcontroller as per this circuit. In this circuit, I have used ESP32 and these push buttons are connected across the GPIO pin and the ground pin. And in this project, I have used active low relay module. So to turn on the relay, I have to give low signal in the control pin. And to turn off that relay, I have to give high signal in the control pin. But you can also use active high relay module for this project. Now if you want, you can also connect latch switch for the manual control. And if you want to use node MCU or ESP8266, then refer to this circuit. Again, I have connected push button across the ground and GPIO pins and if you want, you can also connect latch switch. But for the node MCU, if you want to connect latch switch, then the switch 2 which is connected with the D3 pin must be turned off during the booting process of the node MCU. So I will always recommend you to use push button for the node MCU. But for the ESP32, you can either use latch switch or push button. Now let me configure the Cynric Pro for this project. Now if you don't have any account, you can click on sign up, you can find a link in the description. Now let me log in to Syndic Pro account. Now under their free plan, you can add maximum 3 devices. So I will create 3 devices. I will first click on device, then add device, give a name to that device, say room light. You can give any name, device type will be switch, then click on next. If you want any notification, then you can configure, you can also configure the timer then save it then again go to device in a similar way i will create another two device so here you can see i have added three device now we will generate the code with the help of Cynric pro so i will click on this zero code button so first i will select this three device which i have added now here i will connect the latch switch so i will select this radio button has switch buttons 
if you want to use push button for manual control then select this tactile button but here i will use switch button now click on next now as per your circuit you have to enter the gpio connected with the relay and the related gpio which is connected with the switch now let me go to our circuit so here you can see the first relay is connected with the 23 and the first switch is connected with the 13 so i will mention here 23 and in the button gpio i will mention 13 and again let me go to the circuit and here you can see all the switch are connected with the ground so here i have used common ground so here i will check this active low in a similar way i will put the gpio details for the room light and studio light now click on next then enter your wi-fi credential wi-fi name and password now click on download now save the auto generated code now let me go to my download folder open it with the Arduino IDE now as you are using active low relay module so we have to do some modification in the code but if you are using active high relay module you don't have to change anything in the code you can just upload the code so here you can see you can use this code both for the ESP266 and ESP32 and these are the GPIO details and uh, switch buttons which we have mentioned in the Syndric Pro. Now first let me go to the void setup relay function. So here I will just write a line to turn off the relay by default. Now we will do another modification for the active low relay module. So here on power state function, I will just make this state boolean variable reverse. For that I will just put a exclamation marks before the state variable as you can see to make it opposite so whenever this will be false the relay will turn on and whenever this will be true the relay will turn off after doing this small change i will go to tools select the board then select the port then hit the upload button first i will connect the google home with Synric pro so let me open the google home app then i will tap on setting then select works with google then here search for Synric pro tap on the Synric Pro then here I have to log in to my Synric Pro account now I will tap on device again refresh the screen so here you can see all the three devices added so if I tap on the device you can see respective relay turns on now I will open the Amazon Alexa app then go to more then select skills and games here search for Synric Pro now tap on the Synric Pro then tap on enable to use Again, you have to log in to Synric Pro account. Now tap on next. Here you can see three devices found. Tap on next again. These are the device. I will just exit from the setup and go to device tab. So here you can see outdoor light, room light and studio light added. And I can also control the respective relay from the Amazon Alexa app. So this is a very useful project you can easily make it after watching this video if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends you can also follow us on instagram and join our telegram channel you can find the link in the description for more such videos please do subscribe thank you for watching have a great day